Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll be creating a PrimeNG application from scratch. We'll be making use of the various PrimeNG components like the uh, PrimeNG button, PrimeNG confirmation service, PrimeNG message. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. Here in the AngularJS section we have PrimeNG tutorials. So in one of the previous tutorials, we had seen how to get started with PrimeNG, uh, how to install Node.js and NPM. In this tutorial, we'll be developing an application that takes some user input, checks what the what the input is, and then displays uh, uh, some message depending on the type of input. So let's begin with the tutorial. So we'll go to the uh, PrimeNG website. So here we can see that PrimeNG provides a rich set of uh, UI components that can be used with an uh, Angular, J Angular 2 web page. So we'll be creating an Angular 2 application and using the PrimeNG components. So let's uh, begin with the implementation. For implementation, I have stated the steps that are needed to follow here. So the first step is that uh, before we start developing our application, we need to configure the development environment. For this, we need the node and npm installed. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, PrimeNG UI introduction, in the video, I have shown how to install the node and npm. So, install this. The second uh, point is, we'll uh, be creating a, a project folder named PrimeNG. So, go to any directory. And here, I'll give the name as since I already have a PrimeNG folder, I'll be giving it as PrimeNG test. Next, we'll create a configuration file tsconfig.json which configures the TypeScript compiler. Next we create another configuration file named as system.js.config.js. This loads the application in the library module. Then we configure our package.json which will have the PrimeNG dependency. So here, here we can see that along with the Angular 2 dependencies, we have specified the PrimeNG dependency that we will be requiring. Next we will run the npm install command which will download all the dependencies that we had specified in the package.json. So copy this command, go to the command prompt and the folder, I pasted all this. So let this run. So after running the PrimeNG in, uh, npm install, the dependencies uh, get downloaded. If we'll go to the folder here, we'll see that the node modules folder has been created. Next, we'll be creating the Angular 2 TypeScript files. We'll be needing three such TypeScript files. 
we'll be creating in the, them in a folder named as app. So go to the prime test folder and create a folder named app. So our first will be the app component .ts file. The next file that we'll be creating will be the app.module.ts We'll take a look at these files after creating what these files are doing. Finally, the third will be the main.ts. So let us have a look at the contents of the TypeScript files that we created. In the app.component.ts file, we define the template that will be displayed in our index.html file that we'll be creating later on. In this template, we are using the various PrimeNG components like button, input text, confirmation service, etc. Here in the PrimeNG uh, text box, the user will enter some uh, information and click on a button. Depending on the click that the user makes some information will be displayed to the user the next component what that we do is we bootstrap the user component that we developed in the previous uh, ts file and finally we bootstrap the app module in the main.ts file at last we'll be creating the index.html file here in uh, in our first uh, TypeScript file, we had uh, we had defined a selector app, so we'll be using this selector in the index.html file. So let's create the index.html file. Also, in the index.html file, we'll be loading the configuration file system uh, js.config.js that uh, we had created at the beginning of this tutorial. So we have to, we are done with all the files that are to be created for this tutorial. Run the command npm start. So our application has started successfully. Enter your name. If I select yes, it shows that this is his first Prime NG program select no it shows this is not his first prime ng program so using prime ng we have successfully implemented an application uh, hope you have understood this tutorial the source code for this tutorial it can be downloaded from here thank you